Chef Carmen will live today to explain why she's still a free woman. If you are lost in the sauce and you don't know what's going on, I'm going to insert a link in the comment section. Go watch that live for the announcement that was made yesterday. Check out what Chef Carmen had to say and let me know your thoughts. We need everybody over YouTube that want to hear the story on the truth on what yes. happened. Ooh, this <laughs> Give me another mm -hmm. <laughs> Right. We picked apart by everything. I mean, everything. And it really makes no sense. And it's, you know, it's really just disgusting behavior. I mean, damn, can you get out of my mouth? Can you get out of my skin? Can you stop worrying Did about you? what we do? I mean, they if can't. you don't like us, don't watch. It's very simple. Don't watch. You don't have to watch. Nobody's making you. And, and all the accusations, um, all the lies, and Deidre Portico just said, we hurt too. And y'all truly felt our pain, especially yesterday. Y'all felt our pain. Um, the thought of me going to jail of me being booked, of me having a mugshot. I've never been to jail. I have no mugshot. I have. And um, <laughs> it was hard on both of us yesterday. It was hard yeah. on all my friends, each and every one of you, my entire team. Um, I had about two emotional breaks. She was broke down pretty much all day um, emotionally. I mean, I, I haven't cried like I cried yesterday. Um, the pain I felt was unbearable. So, I want to thank you guys for all your love and all your prayers. I want to thank you guys because what happened today, when I tell you, was nothing but God. Susan Miller, thank you so much for the superstar. When I tell you, what happened today was nothing but God. Mimi, thank you for becoming a subscriber. Um, so, I'm going to tell you guys the truth. The truth and nothing but the truth. Turn of events. A person took out a warrant on me for stuff like stalking, terroristic threats. Um, what else was it? Well, actually, what happened was um, the person filed charges um, against Carmen. And the charges were lies. Um, and Carmen was supposed to appear in court yesterday, unbeknownst to her, because the person put purposely put the wrong address for Carmen, knowing damn well that Carmen does not live in Atlanta, well, doesn't live in Georgia. I do. I work out of Georgia, but they yes. put the they the person I've been to court with maybe a month ago or three weeks ago recently mm -hmm. have the have the address that's on the court records. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if I'm going to add it to the end of this highlight or if I'm going to make a whole new post because I do have a highlight for you guys to understand um, a few things, but it was a lot of cussing going on in that live. So I have to figure out how I could edit it to put it up. But I want you to hear this part if y'all miss the person's live because some of the things that Chef Carmen is speaking on and say is going to be a light bulb moment. And if it didn't make sense to you when that person spoke about it, it will make sense to you now. Okay, let's continue. From when we recently went to court, and it was rescheduled. Correct. The person have the person that put the wrong uh, dress on um, this application that she filed knows that my residence is in Houston. I have been working in Atlanta. She knows that I have an Atlanta address where. Um, you know, so she knows, but she put my old address. Y'all remember the old, my first house where I started my, my season business. Um, she put the 3612 Jana Lane address. She put my old address. This is not the address when I um, had the home in Tucker, mm -hmm. not the home before I moved to Texas. And y'all know damn well that girl know that um, I, my residence, I have a license, driver's license in Texas. I'm a Texas um, resident, a Texan. My business is based out of Texas. My insurance, so many things. Um, I have proof of residency. And guess what? God is so good. I ain't have to show none of that. My attorney was about to get up and get to work on this. 
My attorney didn't even, my attorney didn't file a motion. And do y'all know how hard it is to rescind a warrant? Do you know how many days you ain't going to just do it? Like walk into court. Like your, if your attorney would have to go in there and file the papers and wait a couple of days and hope they can get a warrant rescinded. You just can't get a, you cannot get a warrant rescinded. Nobody can call the courts and get a warrant rescinded. But these people are so psychotic and crazy. They want you to think that Carmen called and told so many lies and got the warrant rescinded. You cannot get a warrant rescinded that easily. And you don't get it rescinded the next day after a warrant's been issued for your arrest. It don't, the legal system do not work like that. Do it. So... I'm out running errands and I get a phone call and tell y'all how good God is from the Cobb County um, courthouse. So many people, so many people today, this morning, last night, calling the courthouse. They've been calling the Cobb County courthouse. They've been calling the sheriff office, the warrant division, the jail, the magistrate court. Court can't even operate. Clerk can't do their job because everybody calling about Carmen Riley. Carmen Riley. Hundreds and hundreds of people calling. So now everybody in court, the judge and everybody want to know who the hell is Carmen Riley? You know, who is this person? So they look into everything. The judge. And I'm pretty sure she looked into the past of the person that filed this bogus report and said, we're going to reschedule this. My lawyer done nothing. I done nothing. God did it all. God did. And the reason that there was a warrant issued is because Carmen was a no-show at court. But she was a no-show at court because she didn't know that there was a court date that was scheduled. So Carmen does not, would not intentionally not show up to court. She just wouldn't. No, there is no way I would not show up to court. There is no way. There is no way that, so they say that Tay and I keep getting away with everything. We tell the truth. The truth always come out. They've been attacking us for over two years. They've called us all kind of names, stalkers, thieves, um, scammers, what else? Um, human traffickers, murder, all kind of things. We've been accused of all these vile things. Nothing's been proven. Nothing, because we've done none of those things. We are not those kind of people. No, she did not know. There is another outstanding court case with her. So that's not the same. It's not the same thing. No, I, 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 I did not know this, this person purposely sent that information. Like they'll mail your court date to an address. And that's the craziest thing. Because what if you move? What if you don't get it? But they, once a warrant is set for your arrest, you're going to jail. Either you're going to check yourself in. They're going to find you. Or eventually they're going to catch you. Warrants are not just rescinded like that. 